morning children for this lesson be my multiple i will be your factor there are so many activities and games also so we are getting the concepts better today i have made a powerpoint presentation to show you a cat chasing a mouse and also one more game which all of you can play while sitting in a circle so let us go and have a look at these two things be my multiple i will be your factor so this is the name of our chapter okay i told you that we are going to see a very nice chasing game of a cat and a mouse come let's see the mouse and the cat the hungry cat meow is trying to catch kunjan the mouse kunjan is now on the 14th step and it can jump two steps at a time meow is on the third step she can jump three steps at a time if kunjan reaches 28th step it can hide in the hole kunjan's hole is on the 28th step if they jump together at the same time find out whether the mouse can get away safely or not so children i'll just explain you how what is the situation like now kunjan is the mouse and meow is the cat naturally kunjan is very tiny and meow is big so meow can jump three steps at a time so while running meow is jumping three steps at a time and kunjan is tiny so it is jumping two steps at a time now meow was on the third step when she saw kunjan standing on the 14th step okay children so kunjan has was already on the 14th step when meow saw kunjan and kun meow was on the third step so meow started chasing kunjan now both are going to take jumps at the same point of time and let us see whether meow will be able to catch kunjan or not okay let's see that okay meow is on the third step and she saw kunjan is standing on the 14th step she thought come let's catch hold of kunjan and eat and have a feast okay children now i'm going to show you how both of them are jumping see kunjan reached his hole kunjan went inside the hole and meow could not catch him okay let us see now the steps on which kunjan jumps are 14th 16th 18th 20th 22nd 24th 26th and 28th you know why children because kunjan could jump only two steps at a time okay the steps on which the meow jumps are 3rd 6th 9th 12th 15th 18th 21st 24th and 27th now why she could jump on these steps because meow could jump three steps at a time so children did you notice that meow is jumping on the steps which are in the table of 3 see 3 ones are 3 3 twos are 6 3 threes are 9 3 fours are 12 Three fives are fifteen. Three sixes are eighteen. Three sevens are twenty-one. Three eights are twenty-four, and three nines are twenty-seven. And Kunjan, he was standing on fourteen step, and he is jumping on the numbers which are which come in the table of two. Two sevens are fourteen. Two eights are sixteen. Two nines are eighteen. Two tens are twenty. Two elevens are twenty-two. Two twelves are twenty-four. Two thirteens are twenty-six, and two fourteens are twenty-eight. Now, ch children, the steps on which both Miao and Kunjan jumped 
are 18th and 24th so both of them they landed on 18th and 24th but they did not land on 18th and 24th at the same time if they had landed on 18th at the same time miao would have caught hold of kunjan or if they had landed on 24th step at the same time even then miao would have caught kunjan and kunjan would have been the dish of miao and miao would have got her feast but they did not jump on 18th and 24th step at the same time so miao could have caught kunjan only on the 18th or the 24th step but kunjan could manage reaching his hole on 28th step so children how you saw that kunjan jumped on the multiples of 2 starting from 14th and miao jumped on the multiples of 3 starting from 3 children multiples are the answers which come in the multiplication table of a number okay so multiples of a number we are going to study now when we multiply any number by 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and so on the products which we get are called the multiples of the given number children you remember na what are products products are the answer which we get after multiplying two or more than two numbers so when we multiply any given number by 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and so on the products we get are called the multiples of the given number so children the multiples of 2 are 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 24 26, 26, 26 and so on we can go on and on and on and on since children numbers are unending multiples are also an unending beta you know why because after all we are multiplying the given number 2 by the numbers 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 and so on so the multiples will go on and on and on and there is no biggest multiple because multiples are unending Okay, so multiples of three are three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen, eighteen, twenty-one, twenty-four, twenty-seven, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-six, thirty-nine. See, children, all these numbers they come in the table of three. Three ones are three. Three twos are six. Three threes are nine. Three fours are twelve. Three fives are fifteen. Three sixes are eighteen. Three sevens are twenty-one. Three eights are twenty-four. Three nines are twenty-seven. Three tens are thirty. Three elevens are thirty-three. Three twelves are thirty-six. Three thirteens are thirty-nine. Okay, and same way you know multiples of ten. See, children, I have taken two, three, and ten. You know why? Because two, three, and ten tables we learn first of all, and I know all of you know the tables of two, three, and ten. So the multiples of ten are ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty, ninety, hundred, hundred ten, hundred twenty, one hundred thirty, one hundred forty, and so on. and multiples of 500 some children will feel we don't know the table of 500 ma'am but children you know the table of 5 and you can make the table of 500 by putting two zeros at the back of the multiples of 5 see for example the multiples of 5 are 5 ones are 5 5 2s are 10 5 3s are 15 5 4s are 20 5 5s are 25 5 6s are 30 5 7s are 35 and so on So the multiples of five hundred are five hundred ones are five hundred, five hundred twos are one thousand, five hundred threes are one thousand five hundred, five hundred fours are two thousand, five hundred fives are two thousand five hundred, five hundred sixes are three thousand, five hundred fours are sorry, five hundred sevens are three thousand five hundred, and so on. So how we have found out that multiples of five hundred is we have put 
two zeros at the back of all the multiples of five. So children, multiples of a given number are infinite. Infinite means endless. They can go on and on and on and on. We can sit and keep finding the multiples of a number and they will never end. It means that the multiples are never ending since the counting is never ending and we are multiplying the given number by counting numbers. So I hope children you would have understood what are multiples of a number. Now I will tell you a game and children this game is excellent for learning the multiples of a number. And it is such a fun game. Once you get together now, then you can play this game. Okay. This is called the Meow game. I am sure all the children love to make the noise of the cat. Meow, meow, meow. Like this you do now. So for learning the multiples of a number, we will play a Meow game. So how will we play? I am going to show you now. All of you will stand in a circle. And to start with, we are going to learn the table of 3. How you will learn the table of 3? For the numbers which come in the table of 3, you have to say meow. Okay. I'll just show you how. Like this. 1, 2, meow. 3, 4, 5, meow. 7, 8, meow. So children, have you understood how I am telling you? Okay, I'll show you once again. Okay. I am going to start the game again and children once you will have to do the trial game because you will understand that game only when once you try it. Okay, I am going to show it to you. 1, 2, meow. 4, 5, meow. 7, 8, meow. 10, 11, meow. 13, 14, meow. 16, 17, meow. 19, 20, meow. 22. There are 22 children standing in this circle. Okay, beta? There are 22 children standing in this circle. And every child should say the correct number or meow. If the child is supposed to speak the number which will come in the table of three then he should not speak that number it means the children who are supposed to say three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen they will not say these numbers they will say meow okay and the children who have to speak the numbers which do not come in the table of three they have to speak those numbers. Once again, I will show you this so that you understand it properly. Okay. Again, I am going to show you children so that you understand it properly. Okay. 1, 2, meow. 4, 5, meow. 7, 8, Meow. 10, 11, meow. 13, 14, meow. 16, 17, meow. 19, 20, meow. 22. And after 22, this girl will say 23. And then this boy will say meow. So children, this game is looking simple. But once you play it, na, you will come to know it's not that simple. It is a game of presence of mind. And you will become very sharp if you play this game 
properly and the child who is a defaulter will leave the circle and go and stand out and the circle will keep becoming smaller and smaller as the defaulters will keep moving out of the circle and last of all only two children will left and they will play the game very very fast and one person will be the winner so children it's a fantastic game you can play it with different tables like the table of 3 4 5 whichever table you want to do you can do it so children you must try this game and i assure you you will enjoy it it you also you will learn the tables that's all for today children i hope you will play the game and enjoy it thank you and have a great day